Welcome back to Tech Solutions. This is where I share straightforward and practical tutorials to help you get the most out of your Linux and Windows setups. If you're new around here, hit subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through how to run Android applications on Fedora 43 using Wadroid. Wadroid gives you a complete Android container that runs directly on your Linux system, and Fedora's polished Wayland experience makes everything feel incredibly smooth and responsive. So let's begin. On your screen, you can see Fedora 43 running the Genome desktop with Wayland. Fedora uses Wayland by default, and that's great news, because Wadroid is built to work best with Wayland. There's no need for extra setups, no extra compositors, everything integrates naturally. Now here we're looking at the Wadroid directory on SourceForge. This is where we download the required Android 13 system image and vendor image. You'll see two builds available, the vanilla version and the gapps version. For this video, we're going with the gapps build, so the Android environment includes the Google framework. Depending on your internet speed, the downloads may take a moment. Once the zip files are ready, open the downloads folder and extract them using the command shown on your screen. Before installing anything, update Fedora's package index. Then install the required components that Wadroid depends on. Fedora handles this cleanly with DNF, and if these packages are already installed, Fedora will simply skip them. Now that the dependencies are sorted out, we can install Wadroid directly. Fedora includes Wadroid in its official repositories, so there's no need to add anything extra. Just use the command displayed on your screen to install it through DNF. Fast, simple, and reliable. Next, check the two extracted files, the system and vendor images. Create the required directory path exactly as shown and move both image files into that location. This step is important because Wadroid reads these images during initialization. Once moved, you can verify their presence using the list command. With everything in place, it's time to initialize Wadroid. Run the setup command on your screen, and Fedora will create the Android container and prepare the environment. Once the initialization finishes, you can close the terminal. Open your Applications menu, search for Wadroid, and launch it. And there it is, Wadroid running smoothly on Fedora 43, giving you a full Android environment directly inside your Linux desktop without any emulators or heavy virtual machines. That wraps up today's tutorial. If this helped you set up Wadroid on Fedora, don't forget to like the video, share it with others, and subscribe to Tech Solutions for more Linux and Windows guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.